You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about Charles Barkley. Last week he made a comment about the fact that the NBA is not doing a very good job providing coaching opportunities involving black coaches. Well, we know the NBA just came off, and to be honest with you, some of their stars are still doing it, a social justice crusade that had nothing to do with anything but virtue signaling over race. They did it with George Floyd, Jacob Blake. They actually boycotted freaking games for crying out loud. LeBron James has run his mouth about all kinds of false narratives, including about the police. And Adam Silver is a complete tool that is led around by his testicles by LeBron James and the players in the league. Well, Charles Barkley said, for all of this shit you, the NBA is spouting about uh, black people and race and all this other stuff to the point that they even put Black Lives Matter on their court, he has come out and said, y'all a bunch of hypocrites, y'all some hypocritical bitches. Well, it's Charles being honest again. Charles Barkley condemns the NBA for a lack of black head coaches. You can't keep recycling white people. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Charles Barkley spotlighted a racist hypocrisy in the NBA, ripping teams for firing black coaches, but, quote, parting ways with white coaches. Now Barkley is calling out the NBA again for failing to give enough black coaching candidates the chance to lead a team. Black athletes make up more than 70% of NBA players, but only seven of the league's 30 teams have black head coaches. But as the NBA is down to its final four in the playoffs, three of the remaining head coaches are black, highlighting the need for more diversity in leadership roles. Quote, we need more black coaches. We need more black front office people, Barkley said Sunday night on Inside the NBA. It's a bigger problem in the NFL and in college football, he added. The observation was also made by Tyron Lue, a black head coach who led the L.A. Clippers to the conference finals for the first time in franchise history. Quote, that says a lot about how we have been coaching. Hopefully, so we can stop getting looked down upon so we can just build, build the way for the other Black coaches, Lou said after his team knocked off the Utah Jazz. I think a lot of openings this summer, hopefully a lot of GMs and owners will see black coaches are good coaches and hope they give opportunities to young coaches coming up today. We need to have a conversation about giving guys the opportunity, Barkley said, continued in reference to black coaches. If they fail, fire them. You can't just keep recycling white coaches. They get fired and get new jobs. Give these guys a chance. Give these guys, they're doing a fabulous job, and it's just something we need to talk about. Barkley's co-host, Shaquille O'Neal, noted it's also time for the NBA to have its first female head coach. Don't forget women. I, I said it's time for women to get an opportunity as a head coach. Don Staley and Becky Hammond have both received recent interest from NBA teams looking to fill their head coaching void, showing the league is moving closer to breaking the glass ceiling. And I'm going to be the first to tell you, I don't agree with Chuck here. I don't agree with Charles Barkley. Why? Because in no world will I ever sit here and sign off on the fact that anybody should have their gender or race be considered when it comes to getting any job, including coaching opportunities in sports. That should have nothing to do with the hiring process whatsoever. Okay? I'm sorry, Chuck. I think you're full of shit on this. It should always be about qualifications for the job. Hiring the right person based on merit and qualifications and experience. If that happens to be a black a black coach, good, good. 
Now, the one point that Chuck may have here is they keep recycling some of these white dudes that keep failing. You know, give some of the black guys some opportunities, too, over again. That's fine. Okay? Uh, he may have some sort of a point there. I just kind of doubt it. All right? Uh, I kind of doubt that he's that, that he's right there. Uh, I don't have the statistics in front of me. I, I, I just don't. But um, from the standpoint of hiring, you're never going to get me to sit here and say that anybody should ever be hired based on their race or their gender, okay? If, if these uh, women prove themselves to be the most qualified candidate, great. Hire them. Give them the opportunity. Some of them may become great head coaches in the N- NBA, and we've seen plenty of black head coaches. We do know they can do the job. It's got nothing to do with race. Nobody gives a shit. But but who knows what's going on in the NBA? Part of Charles Barkley's point is that, look, for the last year, you've been setting out there as a league, virtue signaling, pounding the table about race, and in Chuck's views, black head coaches are looked upon differently than white head coaches. If that is the case... That's not a very good look for the NBA because there should be no difference in how a white coach or a black coach or a woman coach is looked upon during the hiring process. Not a bit of difference. Qualifications. It's always about qualifications. I did hiring in the corporate world for 12 years. I was going to hire the most qualified, competent candidate for any position I was looking to fill, I didn't give a rat's ass about somebody's gender or their race. So if that is something that is a behind-the-scenes problem in the NBA, sure, it needs to be looked at. I just I don't know that uh, he's entirely accurate in what he's saying when you consider there are black head coaches in the league. And three of the four of them that are in the uh, conference finals are black right now, okay? So, and I think that's the same way across the board, right? Um, you know, Mike Tomlin's been a head coach in the NFL forever now. Tony J- Dungy won a Super Bowl. Do we ever look at Tony Dungy and Mike Tomlin and just and are like, you know what, they're great black coaches? no. They're just great coaches, okay? Period. Great coaches. It's got nothing to do with the color of their skin. Will we quit putting labels on everything involving color and or race? That includes you, Charles Barkley. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.